What is up, everyone? This is Civic Dude, and it's another episode Surviving Minecraft. So, oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys to start off is two things, really. One, we have our first Silk Touch pick. I'm so excited about this. This has got to be the best uh, that I've, I've ever had. Silk Touch 1, Unbreaking 3. It's going to last forever. It's going to be awesome. So my main goal is to repair this at all costs. <laughs> also, boots, we have Protection 3 and Feather Falling 4. That's going to be awesome. So keep us safe um, when we're building and stiff. So, um, you know, I'm kind of... Oh, let me get away from the rain. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. Kind of putting together a plan for this episode, and uh, I know one thing I want to do is uh, try and find carrots from zombies. I've been doing a bunch of mob killing trying to find zombies that have carrots. I found a couple more that have potatoes, but no carrots yet. So, And if you don't know, I need the carrots in order to get the pigs into our uh, our butcher shop over there. Oh, whoa, one, one thing I want to mention I completely forgot. <laughs> you notice the texture pack is different. This is the John Smith texture pack. Um, I've been trying it out just to, I mean, it's, I really like it, guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, I love the fact that it's very medieval looking. It's very uh, rustic, I guess. That's the style that I really like. Um, and, you know, I've seen a few other people, well, quite, probably quite a few people use this, actually. Um, but uh, I never had used it before until uh, a couple days ago, and so... You know, just been trying it out, and so far I really like it. I think I'm gonna be playing with this one for a little while. So, you know, I'll go back to the uh, the Sfax and the faithful texture packs, you know, from time to time. But uh, I think primarily I'm gonna be using this one, at least for the time being. So let's see. Okay, so. Um, I know we're going to get a carrot. We're going to get a carrot this episode. That is the goal. The goal for this episode is a carrot. Also, one thing is that um, I want to kind of start catching at least one or two um, villager zombie... villager zombies. Yeah. That way we can rehabilitate them and uh, cure them of their zombiness once we get... once we get... Uh, what am I thinking? golden apples and also uh, those potions I think it's splash potion of weakness or something like that so um, again if you don't know I'm waiting until Minecraft 1.5 before I actually go to the nether for the first time so um, waiting until we get 1.5 to go to the nether so I'm waiting in, or which means I can't do the golden apple or the uh, splash potions until then. Um, also, if you don't know, right over here is going to be our nether portal. And I'm also waiting until 1.5 to do that because I don't want to go to the nether yet um, because in 1.5 uh, there's a new ore in the nether, nether quartz that comes out. And so it's going to only appear in newly formed chunks, and so if every chunk is newly formed, then it's going to be everywhere, in theory. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this little wolf has been sitting here for this entire series so far. He literally is a lone wolf. We're going to have to name him something. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe we could call him Gray. Since he's gray, that's kind of kind of simple. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. I have more than once jumped on these and uh, destroyed the crops. So much so, in fact, that I have actually finally moved a hoe over here, just for that scenario. Okay, so I got the cave spider down there. We're gonna eventually build a building around this cave spider spawner much in the same fashion that we've been doing the other buildings. 
And uh, so, right. Um, sorry, guys. This is a very talky episode so far. But uh, did I mention I really like this texture pack? And I've been down in this ravine in an earlier episode. It's uh, very small. Like you can see the end of it right, right there. And there's no caves that branch off of it, so it's very, uh, very small. But it does lend opportunities for building something inside of it. We're still, still trying to put together what I want to build in there, though. Let me double check the brightness. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah. So I've been watching. Uh, a lot of videos from uh, Slipgator. I uh, just found him a few, probably a couple weeks ago now. Um, really like his channel, guys. If you haven't been there, um, you know, go check it out. It's uh, a lot of fun. He's uh, he's been doing Let's Play episodes for over a year now, or close to a year, I guess. And uh, he's he's really good at what he does. And uh, yeah, good videos, good production, good quality. Um, so, go check him out. Tell him I sent you. Collect your 200 points for passing go. <gasps> there we go, there's a zombie. Okay, so, yeah. Lately, my main uh, task has been just finding zombies and killing them. Trying to find silly carrots. I just need one. You know, then I can start growing them on my own. Oh, you guys missed it, but I had a complete fail the other day. I um, I harvested all of my potatoes, and before planting any of them, you know how you get one or two, or one to three, I think, uh, potatoes from a fully grown potato? Before planting any of them to keep growing, I uh, went and cooked them all. Therefore, I had to go and find another one from a zombie. Which was really, really fail. Oh boy. Good. I'm not this bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna have to enchant a new sword soon. Which means I'm gonna have to get some levels. Oh my gosh, I'm at level one. You guys missed it. I was trying to get I was trying to get the uh feather falling on these boots and I was doing it the old-fashioned way where uh, you, know, you run around killing zombies or killing mobs at night uh, for levels and I had just gotten to level 22 because that's according to uh, Doc M who I learned it from uh, that's the best level for getting feather falling and I had just gotten to level 22 and I was it was you know sun up everything was burning all the enemies were burning and so I was just going around killing the last one and it was one zombie with uh, like leather armor or something and he ended up killing me so I had to basically start all over but what I ended up doing was just using the uh, the case spider spawner to get there because I did not want to spend another you know 30 40 minutes I had almost a, a rage quit moment Anything? Gosh, nothing. Just need some carrots. I need my carotene. Beta carotene, come to me. Okay, anything? Any zombies? Oh, there's a creeper. Can't stand creepers. <laughs> Can't stand it. Did I tell you that? Ooh, there's one. Okay. Oh, um, I did want to apologize. The last episode, um, I filmed it late, late at night, and everybody was asleep, so I was kind of really quiet in my speaking. Um, so if it was too quiet, then I just want to apologize. Um, this this episode I'm doing in the middle of the day. The kids are down for naps, and uh, I can be a little... Oh, God, oh, God, get in there! Run, run! Gosh, uh, man, yeah. So kids are down for naps, and uh, I can be a little bit 
more normal <laughs> in my audio levels. Good grief. Die, die, die. Okay. Oh my gosh, I gotta recover from that. Ugh, stupid spiders. You know, and I have had the worst luck. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm in a taiga um, biome, but I have yet to find any monster dungeon spawners uh, in my caves. And on that note, I took a boat ride around, you know, probably, you know, 300 blocks that way, 300 blocks that way, that way, and that way. And I have, like, the only... I have this island and then that other island over where I first spawned. And uh, these are the only islands for a long way. I have yet to find mainland. So... We're going to be here for a while, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Once we once we get Minecraft in uh, 1.5 update, and we go to the nether, we can uh, locate the, or use the blaze powder and the uh, end, what am I saying, I have ender, to locate the, uh, the stronghold. So we're definitely going to be finding that. Um, oh my gosh. Endermen. And then uh, we can go to the end, kill the dragon, make a uh, enderman farm, and start using another, what are these called, ender pearls to uh, do all of our, all of our uh, traveling. So, is that the word? I think traveling, yeah. Oh, don't you, I can't stand it when they take my blocks. Come on. Come on. Run away. I just want to kill you. Just want to kill you. There we go. Love collecting those nether pearls. There's a zombie. Uh, seriously, this is this is very tedious. Trying to find carrots. It takes forever. I think I got lucky with the potatoes. Either that or maybe they spawn more frequently. I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, sorry this isn't a, uh, so far at least, it, it hasn't been a, a here's what I've done kind of episode. This is more of a struggle with me, let's play this episode. But, uh, you know, it's been a while since we've done like a talk, a talky episode. So, I think I think we're due for one. And I don't know why, but it seems like zombie villagers are a little bit more rare than I thought they were. Get away, creeper man! Oh, still no carrots. Yeah. So, you know, if I can't find any tonight, which I probably won't, because it's already turning into sun up. Um, I'll just keep doing this on off camera, <laughs> and I'll bring you guys back once I find one. One carrot, I mean. Oh, there's an enderman. Can we kill you? Can we kill you from down there? Oh gosh, oh crap. It's not going to be good. Where did he go? I hate when they uh, do that. They just teleport far away because then you never know where they are. And once you do find them, they're usually right behind you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, zombie, are you the one? No, you're not the one. Okay, let's kill these endermen. Before they take all... Oh my gosh, how many are there? Do you guys see this? Oh, zombie, don't die. Don't die yet. Don't die. Don't die. I want to kill you. No. Dang it. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys know. Oh, crap. Dang it. I hate it whenever they do that. Um, 
What was my question? Oh yeah. Do you know if uh, mobs will drop their items more frequently or less frequently whenever the sun kills them versus whenever you kill them? Oop, I hear a zombie. That's just a thought I had um, while doing this carrot farming. So. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, I will uh, I'll clean this up and keep doing this however long it takes. And I'll come back once I find a carrot. Now, you may be asking yourself, guys, why would he build a dirt thing like this. Well, in my experience so far, collecting zombies, villager zombies, is difficult because you can't really get them to go where you want them to go. All they do is track you because they want to eat you, eat your brains. So, my plan is to have a zombie following me. You know, you gotta throw them an item so they won't despawn. But have him follow me and then I'll go right through here and then I'll put a block down real quick and then run around real fast to the other side and throw another block in so he will not get out. And I have to have the covering so that he won't burn either. So we'll basically do this, cover him in like that. Might put a little window here just to make sure that he doesn't uh, get away or anything like that. And uh, I put the corners on because you know I could have done this just one there, one there, like that. But I think he could possibly glitch through the corners, you know, once I log in and log out, possibly. So just to be safe, I'm just going to make it a cube, a proper cube. So, radio, I will carry on with my zombie hunting. You know, guys, one more thing to note about uh, this texture pack and you can't really see it now, but the uh, the twilight light is very red. You know, they went all out with the... Uh, oh, there we go. They went all out with getting the uh, that golden orange hue that you see at uh, sunset. They did that very well. And then uh, nighttime, it kind of goes back to the just dark blue, or darkness with blue, kind of. I don't know. But, uh, so, anyways, what that means is that in the, when you're caving and you get, uh, you know, like, I don't know, seven or eight blocks away from a torch, it kind of goes to that reddish hue, kind of like that right there. You can see it a little bit. So it makes for, makes for some interesting caving lighting. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out in case you guys were, uh, interested in trying this texture pack. I recommend it. It's it's really cool. Um, some people don't like all aspects of it, like uh, the nether brick I was testing in my test world. Um, the nether brick is not purple like uh, default is, um, which I'm okay with. Uh, I always thought the purple was kind of strange. But, uh, yeah. So, um, Link in the description for this texture pack. Give it a shot if you like it. Sweet. If you don't, sweet. Now, where did that creeper go? Oh, there's a spider. I can't stand him. Oh, there you are. Go away. I love this knockback. What is this? Knockback 2, sharpness 3. I don't know if... I haven't done many enchants... Many enchanting... Many enchantments. There we go. Many enchantments on swords. So I'm kind of a noob on what's the best and what's not. But uh, personal experience, I can tell you this one's really nice. It's just, especially for fighting creepers. You hit them and then they fly away. So, okay. I will, uh, I'll see you guys after I find a carrot. Hopefully. Okay, guys, this is not a good situation. I uh, went down to one heart with the, all of these guys. These two mobs. These two skeletons, I should say. 
Oh man, that was nerve wracking. Oh no, and my sword's almost broken. Oh, I cannot lose this sword. Do I have a bow? Yes, I do. Excellent. So, yeah. Close call, but I think I'm going to pull through. I think I might pull through. Well done. Okay. Now we can kind of take them off, pick them off from a distance. Oh my gosh, come on. Headshot. Boom. Oh, jeez, there's so many. There we go. And the creepers, I can't stand them. Get away, creeper. Okay, I will mush on. And success. Oh, sweet success. Oh my gosh, I feel so good. Check it out. One carrot. Oh, man, this feels so good. And uh, this actually did not take very long. So, um, I think it was just the next night. And this is the morning of the next night. Got lucky. Because my... Oh, gosh. I got lucky because uh, my sword is almost broken. I had to pick up a random bow off the ground. Dodging baddies left and right. So, um, but we got the carrot, which means we can now lead our piggies once we find them. Let's find some pigs again. Lead our pigs into our butcher shop area. And, of course, now that I've got the carrot, I can't find any pigs. Oh, wait, I hear one. Ah, there you are. Yes, follow me. Follow me. Oh, this feels good. Okay. Right, so now we've got the pigs, or we're getting the pigs, and uh, put them in their pens where they go. And like I said, once we get to, man, I love this texture pack. It just looks really cool. I love, I love rustic and medieval architecture. There we go. Okay, now we get another one. Once we get another one, and once 1.5 comes out, we can complete the functionality of our uh, pig and cow butcher shop, automatic butcher shop. Um, it'll be really cool. There's a design that Doc M and, uh, oh, that's a cool looking wolf. Doc M and the guys on the JL server put together. Basically uses mine carts and uh, lava blades to, uh, to kill them in an automatic fashion using the hoppers to sort and or to store the items and then I'm gonna add a little sorting mechanism with the hoppers so that we can get the proper the pig food in the pig chest and the cow stuff in the cow chest and I know I had oh look I threw a, an egg and it hatched right on top of that piece of dirt I thought that was funny Okay, I know there was another pig over here somewhere. I saw him just the other... There he is. Okay. Come here, piggy. Come here. Come here, you. And I've got a couple saddles that I collected. Oh, wait. Uh, derpy derp. I got a couple saddles that I collected from a couple... I think one or two spawners down in the mines... But it was not a zombie spawner. I think it was a... Well, what was it? You know, I'm not sure now. If it was a zombie spawner and I took it out, then uh, I was going to say I'd be really mad, but it doesn't matter at this point because I have my carrot, and that's the only reason I wanted the zombies in the first place. So, yes. Uh, long story short, I have the saddles. I have the carrots. Life is good. Wow, these guys follow you great. You should have seen how frustrated I got trying to get them to follow me with wheat. Because I, I didn't realize, it's been a while since I've played. Uh, and it, uh, I did not realize that they changed the uh, the item that they used to follow you to be carrots. Cool. Okay, now let us go plant. 
this carrot and it will become mini carrots. So we're still looking for our uh, our villager zombies. I've only seen one in the last... Oh my gosh. What's going on here? What's not supposed to happen? Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it. Okay. I've only seen one... Uh, what am I saying? Oh wait, I can use pumpkins to get their seeds. I've only seen one villager zombie in the last uh, few nights in the game here. Um, so it might take a little bit of time to uh, to get them. Did I take out some blocks? You know, I don't even remember now. I don't even remember what this looked like, but I'm going to have to check the video because I want to say this came out a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and till oh, lag spike. We're going to head and till that soil right there. And we'll plant our carrot. Excellent. Instant carrots. Taking advantage of the uh, the bone meal growth while we can, because I hear it changes in uh, 1.5 to where it takes more bone meal to do this instant growth than uh, than we've all been used to. And a six carrot still. Oh, geez. That seems rare that they would all give me one. There we go, 13. Much better. Okay. And we have carrots. So, next up is a villager. What do you think, Max Jr.? I agree. Okay. Uh, let me put these away. Okay. I've been saving this slot over here for the carrots. <laughs> uh, we'll keep that. Potato. Seeds. Seeds. Seeds forever. Poisonous potato. This is like the third one I've gotten of these. I'm going to try and eat it and see what happens. Oh gosh. Poison. 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 Oh man. Okay. So... Lesson learned, don't eat the poison. Okay, yeah, that was definitely not like that. No, wait. I'm going to check the video. I'll be right back. This is bugging me. And we're back. Okay, so, you know, I looked at the video, and this is the way that it's always been. But it's bugging me. So I'm going to change it. <laughs> like that. And I wonder... I wonder if this piece of snow is keeping would keep pumpkins from growing right here from this from this little plant. That's a good test. Hmm. I'm not sure. But one thing I want to change for sure is right here. That way I can get up and down right here and not jump and down jump up and down on my carrots. So Oh, one thing I did a long time ago, probably in the in between the first and second episode was this little bit right here um, was kind of like this to begin with, but I dug it out a little bit more to make it um, more like a, a, a side-on two-dimensional platforming game um, or a level from that, you know. It just seemed like a pretty cool little thing. Um, kind of kind of random, I know. One complaint, I don't know if it's a complaint really, but it seems like there's a few different dirt colors. So notice the color of the regular dirt. It's darker than the dirt with grass, which is also a different color, it seems, from the dirt with snow. Hmm. So 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do uh, better grass, the better grass mod on uh, on this. Maybe that'll help. But uh, okay, let me uh, let me check the time of this episode. I don't want it. I don't want it to go too long. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, changing the subject for just a minute. Um, what do you guys think of this new intro for the video? Um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I just kind of... Oh, I need to fix that. Um, just kind of put something together that uh, I wanted to do so that maybe the videos would be a little bit more polished and look a little bit more professional. I want the uh, I want these videos to do... You know, to represent me and the effort that I put into them well. And uh, I want the channel to grow and I want... I want it to look like you know I really care about what I'm doing because I do. I really enjoy making these videos, and uh, you know I want that to show in the quality of the videos themselves. So let me know what you think about this new intro. Um, yeah, thanks. And we're back again. Okay, so um, you know one thing I took down all the uh, all the cow stuff over here since we no longer need it over here because we have our butcher shop. Um, got our carrots, got our pigs. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this one an episode, guys. I know it was a little, a little talky, way more talky than normal, I think. But, uh, we, at least we got something accomplished. These carrots have been driving me nuts. I've been trying to find them forever. So, um, like I said, if I had mainland anywhere near me, then I could find a village. And with a village, they have carrots there. But since I don't have access to that anywhere near me, um, I had to do it the very hard way of uh, trying to find them through zombies. But uh, anyways, long story short, we got our carrots. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, Leave a like if you liked it. Uh, if you want to see more of these, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.